We want to write an equation of the plane passing through 1, negative 3, 2 that is parallel to the x, z plane. So for us, we're going to call uh, the green line the x plane, the red line the y plane, and the blue plane the z plane. Okay. So if it's parallel first to the z axis, that means it has to be vertical, something you know, like this. Clearly these are vertical. And if it's parallel to the x-axis, it has to be like this. Okay, so these are parallel. And so you want to combine these two. And the way you combine it is by making a, a plane here. So like, think of this as a, a sheet of paper. The base of it being parallel to the x-axis and the height of it being parallel to the z-axis. And this has to go through, I guess, finding the equation first will be simple because it has to go um, through the y-axis here. So if we go along the base of it, the one consistent part of it is the y value. Okay, so it's like right here, the way I drew it, it looks like it's five and a half. So wherever you go on this um, plane, you're always going to be, the y value is always going to be 5.5. So it'll be something like this. You know, x and z will vary wherever you are on this uh, piece of paper. So this would be the equation y equals, and because it has to go through 1, negative 3, 2, y has to be negative 3. That's going to be our equation. And if we look at the actual picture, it goes through the negative three here. So, you know, this whole line is negative three and anywhere you're on the picture. So let's say, I don't know, let's pick a random point. You know, you're going to be y equals negative three. Or if you pick another, um, random point, let's say down here, that's always going to be on y equals negative 3. Okay. So anywhere you pick on this piece of paper, you're always going to land on y equals negative 3. 